In the previous video, I talked about preventing SwiftUI from re-rendering all of the views. In this video, I have the opposite problem. SwiftUI does not redraw views when the data changes. So I started having this issue when I was working on my video editing app. It turns out that when you have nested observable objects, SwiftUI by default will not trigger the view update. Okay, so I have a very simple example here. There's a view with the state object. The state object is an instance of the user class. And this one is the observable object. It has the name, just a string, and the status. And the status is another observable object. And as you can see, we have the observable object user with the nested observable object status because we have another observable object which is inside the observable object. And here's the problem. Because the observable object is uh, an object with a publisher, so each time it will emit before the object has changed. So if we'll change something, in this case a variable on this object, it will emit. And when it, uh, when the observable object will change, it will emit and the SwiftUI inside the view it will catch this and try to like redraw, re-render the whole view. So in this case, when we have like username here, if we will change the user, the username inside this button action, when we will change the name of this user, the SwiftUI will just like re redraw, re-render those this view. So when I will hit the update, as you can see, the name has changed. So if we will change the update variable, this integer variable inside the status observable object, we will expect that this one will also change, right? Let's do this. Let's change the status, update. And this is just an integer, so we can just like add one to this integer. So right now, we'll, when we will tap the update, the action will cause this one, the update to change the value. So we will expect that the, the value will increase. So it will be like one, two, three, but nothing is happening. And the, the reason why is that because we have the nested observable object. The status is inside observable object and it is nested. So what is happening here is that we are updating this variable update. So this status object is uh, being called. So it will call, object will change. So I think everything is, is fine here. As we remember this one, the object will change. It's a publisher that emits before the object has changed. So basically what it does, the published, is that it will send the object will change when we will set the value of this uh, variable update. So we could just like rewrite this uh, with this. And using this publisher, we will emit each time we will set the value of this property. But because the status is nested inside this observable object, when it will emit, when we change the update, it will not be caught by the SwiftUI. So SwiftUI will not see that something, this observable object has emitted. If, for example, at the same time, we will change the username. Let's do this, let's change the username. Because we are changing the name, the SwiftUI will try to redraw the view and it will also change this, this value. So it works, but it's obviously not the solution. So in this case, we could force the user class to send this object will change. So we could do something like this. So when we are changing this nested observable object, the value, we are telling the user, which is the state object, that object will change, and this way it will update the value. So it works properly. It's not a common problem in SwiftUI and nesting observable objects is probably not necessary, but if you need it, now you know what's going on and how to handle it. That's all what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.